And it's done by. Hey, hey, hey. There we go. Fireworks. Hey, hey, hey. What up, guys? How are you? I'm driving over to the Cromwell to uh, check in and then check out the hip hop club upstairs. And then tomorrow, I'll check out Giada's. Although it's located on the most well known intersection in Las Vegas, this property still flies under the radar. <laughs> yeah, it's very under the radar. Unless you're coming here to the hip hop club here late at night at Dre's nightclub and the after hour spot. And no, this isn't my daily ride. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> yup, there's definitely a hip hop scene here. So if you like hip hop, this is the spot to be. The Cromwell, which used to be called Bill's Gaming Hall, had been host to Vegas's most infamous after hour spot for over 20 years called Dre's After Hours. More on this property in my upcoming videos. For now, let's go check out Giada. Ding, 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 ding. Yo, VIP, let's roll. Doom. Doom. Oh boy. All right, all right, all right. I'll stop. Yes, sir. I've got to give Caesars some credit here. This building is over 40 years old, and uh, I think they did a fantastic job on renovating and upkeeping this property. Oh yeah, beautiful. Without being bougie, I love walking through this casino, and when I do, I gotta look up. Here we go, Giada, Italian restaurant by celebrity chef Giada de la Rentis. <laughs> yes, and that is why there's always a big debate, as it, whether it's spaghetti or spaghetti. Spaghetti. In Italian, it's spaghetti. Uh, so if you're in Italy, you should say, I would like a big bowl of spaghetti. Spaghetti, spaghetti linguini, fettuccini, farfalle, orecchietti, gubetti. All right then, let me properly pronounce your name. Giada de la Rentis. Yeah, because uh, right now it's about 7.30. If I don't do it now, I'll never be uh, able to do it. All right. Check this out. This large restaurant. I'm shocked that it fits in this little boutique hotel. It's huge. Beautiful open space with large panoramic windows. Ooh, wow. I would have never guessed that this space could fit in this hotel. I'm glad I'm here checking this out. It's a very comfortable vibe in here. Yeah, it's, 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 it's huge. But note that these tables next to the windows that have the Bellagio fountain views, just like the Eiffel Tower restaurant at Paris, Jada charges a premium of around $25 per table. It's, you're, you're kind of blocked away from the bridge there. I mean, it's a view of the bridge more than the fountain, to tell you the truth. I think it's tacky. They think it's tactical. And it's funny that Caesar's restaurants are the only ones who charge this premium. Bellagio restaurants do not. Yup, the Cromwell and Giada, they're operated by Caesar's Entertainment. So uh, you could do a room charge at Caesar's Palace to Flamingo, Harris, so forth and so forth. All right, the menu is pretty straightforward, nothing too crazy, but do know that the prices by the time you get here might have increased by a dollar or two or so. This is a rotating tasting menu. The portions are smaller than a la carte orders. However, there's value in this. Bad news, Giada does not participate in diamond drink vouchers. All right, y'all, something just funny happened, but uh, this order came out within like two minutes. Maybe it was supposed to go to another table, but uh, it looks and smells fresh. It looks awesome. I ordered uh, oysters also, and the waiter was like, okay, let me bring it to you first. But then this this just popped out. You could tell right away the spag the spaghetti, the pasta was uh, freshly made. It looks well made, and uh, yeah, it looks awesome. So this is not the tasting menu. So this is six ounces versus three ounces on the tasting menu. So I just went with this. All right. No spoon, but let's just get into this. Oh yeah, the pasta is cooked perfect, al dente. The rich creamy sauce is offset by the lemon flavoring. It's powerful yet very delicate. 
Ooh-wee. And this shrimp, it's plump, juicy, and full of shrimpiness. I wish that there was at least one more shrimp here. The shrimps are a good size. However, two is just not enough. Yeah, finished. Uh, six ounces of pasta went down real quick. And the prawns were good. Um, just the portions were a little bit, eh, you know, it is what it is. Moving on, and here's the half dozen oysters, which was supposed to come out first, but uh, here we go. All right, so we finally had to figure it out how to use this thing right here. Watch me put it in. I've never been able to extract Tabasco out of these tiny bottles. It just feels silly if I'm shaking this little bottle vigorously, so I, I just let it be. Man. Bam, a little Tabasco sauce. I could never figure out how to get this out because it never comes out for me. You see that? I don't know. Hey, comment below if you know how to do this. You gotta poke it with a needle or something? Keep in mind, there's no premium charge for these patio fountain view tables. But check it out. Hey guys, do you believe in love? We believe in life. I don't know if you believe in love. So the fountain show goes off. You know, do you believe in love? All right, I'm messing around. I just realized the lyric is, do you believe in life after love, not love after life? Love Huge difference. Life. Oh boy. If fountain views are a must, you got to do it here at Bellagio restaurants. All right. Well, I didn't do it, but my waiter helped me out on it. For the record, the waiter put the Tabasco sauce on all the oysters. I don't usually do it that way, but uh, I was like, eh, let's give it a try. And it was good to try once. I made it come out. All right, y'all. Check this out. Let's go. I want to compare this one to the one at uh, Carbone here. So this is the uh, veal parmesan. But uh, yeah, you could gnaw on the bone. This is one of my favorite dishes in Las Vegas. I always end up getting it when I'm at Carbone. Yeah, it's, let's smell it. You ready? I must say that this looks just as appetizing as the one at Carbone. The sauce is on the side, so it's a slightly different variation of it, but man, this looks good. Can I get a little spoon? Yeah, thank you. It looks like a heartier batter than the one at Carbone. It looks thicker, a little more plump, I just want to try this. This looks good. It, it weighs a good a pound or so. Thank you. Yeah. Ooh, shit. Smell test. Ooh wee. Whoa, this looks juicy. And yes, it is thicker than the one at Carbone. Carbone smashes the veal a little bit thinner. All right, let's uh, let's go in. Let's dip it in this sauce, this tomato cream cheese sauce. Mm. Wow! Wow! Delicious, tender on the inside, crispy on the outside. Maybe I'm just a veal lover, but uh, this was full of flavor. But let's add a little Tabasco sauce for an extra kick, since I know how to do this now. It's percolating, so it means the fountains are going off. The table arrangements are well coordinated. It looks like every table has a view proposition through the grand panoramic windows. My favorite part, the meat around the bones. Yeah, now that's a bite. Woo. Wow. I gotta say, just like the veal at Carbone, this is also one of my favorite dishes in Vegas. Thank you. You know, I, I, think, I think I should get this just to compare it to the one I had, uh, the one I last had at Picasso, which was disappointing. 
kind of a uh, pistachio souffle. Oh. Yeah, right off the bat. It's like, boom, huh? Okay, we see you. So, ooh, it's still hot. I'm almost done with this, but this tastes like sugar overload. It didn't taste like this last time, but I don't get any taste of pistachio. It's just overpowering with just taste of sugar. But um, I guess that's what dessert is supposed to do sometimes. All right. This I had flashbacks of that bad pistachio souffle at Picasso. So I was like, all right, let's just get the check and shake the spot. I have another dessert idea. Yeah, let's go. Let's double check one more time if these window seats are worth paying the extra fee. So if you sat here, eh, I'm glad I saved my $25. That's the view you get. Yeah, Caesars, you're being cheesy and tacky by charging this extra yes, fee of the Bellagio fountain views. Even Bellagio restaurants do not charge. Or if you sat here, you get this view. It's kind of reflective, not easy to see. Yup. That's it, Caesar's Palace. Bar area here. Bar area. I strongly recommend this restaurant to those who tried all the mainstream restaurants on the strip and is looking for something under the radar and delicious. Fire, fire. That looks fake in there. Ooh wee, these noodles or a uh, pasta or a uh, spaghetti, it looks so fresh and delicious. I want to make some kargusu and some uh, jajangmyeon out of this. Alright folks, that was it. Here's some excellent award. It's not Michelin star, but it's the best of Vegas 2015. Let's note that 2008 and 2009 were the only years in Las Vegas that Michelin stars were given out. All right, that was it, let's go. And the only three Michelin star restaurant ever in Vegas is located at MGM Grand, Joel Robochon. And yes, I have a video on Joel Robochon restaurant, so please check it out sometime. All right, now let's go get that dessert. Oh, I know many of you have been on this property when it was Bill's Gaming Hall back in 2013 and earlier. So, this area should look very familiar to you. Remember this? Lots of great memories for a lot of people took place right here. What are you doing? I'm going to get you guys. Hey, 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 Where's that burning? Ah, she. <laughs> Showtime. Uh huh. That's so cute. Chicago! Yeah! All right, guys. As you probably could tell, that was my first time doing karaoke in a public setting back in 2012. Woo wee! That was good times, and here I am now getting cake from a vending machine. Life doesn't get any better than this, guys. Not too bad for $10. Uh, Check this vending machine out. It has an antique feel to it with the modern twist. It's a beautiful vending machine. It's a little gimmicky, but hey, this is Vegas and this should come in handy sometimes. This dude right here, he's making bank. He's everywhere all over Vegas. Delivered daily, but it doesn't say uh, baked daily. It says, uh, best enjoyed at room temperature. If those are the instructions, hey, we gotta take this to the room. Come on, let's go out to the room. Right, let's 
try this out. Carlos. Let's see if there's a, let's see if it tastes different. Let's take one big bite first. It's moist. Given the color circumstance, the bright colors, I thought it would taste sweeter than it is. I mean, you'll definitely get your sugar fix, but I'm glad it's not as sweet as what the color, bright colors might imply. Hmm. There's not a distinguishing flavor for each color. At least not that I noticed. You know what, let's check. Let's see if this tastes like an orange or a carrot. Okay, that's one flavor. Let's see if this, this tastes like watermelon or cherry. No, same, same, same taste profile. Let's see if this tastes like kale. No. This kind of looks like a Smurf. Smurfs? <laughs> Doesn't it? No. Looks like a Smurf. Let's see if this tastes like a Smurf or a Smurfette. I prefer quiet meals. Nope. Silence. Uh oh, the Eiffel Tower is uh, percolating. Let's see what they got over there. Come on. As we watch this, hopefully this returns after all the commotion races through the finish line. That's all folks. Wait a minute. I ended up in this live chat. Thousand is a is a nice is a nice uh, number. So click that video right there and go subscribe cheap vegas sweets i'm gonna watch that video coming up next right there encore time click that link and watch them right now they're at 967 so close there we go the funny part was i clicked on this thumbnail for say hi to matthew live stream because i thought it was yellow productions live stream <laughs> Matthew mentioned that he was about to go check out Giada and I chimed in saying, hey, I'm in the middle of editing a Giada video and I better release it before you do because you'll drown out my views. He took notice that I was very close to 1,000 subscribers, so uh, he gave me a random shout out. So thank you, Matthew. And thank you to those from Matt's live chat that subscribed that night. Appreciate it. Well, all right, hopefully you enjoyed this one. And if you did, please push that like button comment below and subscribe like matt says let's get to that 1000 mark thank you for watching and please come again bye bye